more support for the Gujarat Chief Minister, this time coming in from the European Union. For the last 10 years, Narendra Modi was being treated like a pariah by the Western world. He wasn't exactly being welcomed in the US. The European Union had officially boycotted him on poor human rights track record. All that now seems to be changing. First, it was the British High Commissioner who went all the way to Gujarat just ahead of the Assembly elections last year. Now, the EU Commissioner himself is reversing his opposition to Modi. We were uh, pleased that he was able to tell us that because of a number of uh, changes that he's introduced, that such uh, events could not be repeated in 2013. The German ambassador, who had thrown a lunch party for Modi in January post his victory in Gujarat, also threw his lot behind Modi. We respect election results in India and we have full trust in its judicial system. None of those justifications explains just what has changed for the EU to make that decision now and not some years earlier, nor does it explain the extreme secrecy around the meeting with Narendra Modi held at least a month ago. And certainly whether this is all an electoral calculation ahead of next year. But the Congress wasn't buying any of this. Information and Broadcasting Minister Manish Tiwari tweeted, and I quote, EU says accountability for Gujarat pogrom must be fixed. Does the buck not stop with their lunch guest? Ignominious to be reminded by foreigners. But it's the US now which remains the unconquered frontier for Modi. A victory on that front will go a long way in making Modi acceptable even on the home turf. Bureau Report, CNN-IBN.